Hi, I'm Laura Williams, producer here at the American Movie Company with Tech Update. Here's my top 10 teleprompter tips for getting the most out of your next prompter rental. Number one, let your talent know that they are the one in control. The teleprompter operator's job is to keep pace with the speaker. That way the talent never needs to think about their pacing, they should relax, speak at the pace they normally would, and the technician will keep up. Number two, speak up. If there is anything that they or you would like to change in the copy, let the prompter operator know. They can edit the text right there on their laptop. Or if you need the font size changed or something phonetically spelled or abbreviated or you feel like scrolling is too fast or is too slow, let the prompter technician know. We operators are there to help you. Number three, be natural. Maintaining a natural conversational tone really helps one seem believable to the audience or viewer. Number four, know the material. The more familiar your talent is with your script, the more naturally they're gonna come across. This will allow them to use the teleprompter as a safety net instead of having to follow it word for word. This way the prompter gives support and allows the speaker to feel confident. Number five, have good energy. Granted, there may be some subject matters that call for a more subdued tone. In general, more energy is the best policy, especially when you're the one who is delivering the script on camera. The camera really tones down the energy level, so it's usually best to be a little more upbeat and positive than may feel natural. Trust me, the camera loves it. Number six, read into the lens. When you're using a camera mounted prompter, you'll want your talent to maintain eye contact with the lens, which is just behind the glass. In order to help do this, the teleprompter operator will show what place they are putting their cue point to keep pace with the speaker. Generally, this will be at the center of the glass and not at the top. That way they can keep the eye line directly in front of the lens. Number seven, practice. If your talent has never worked with a prompter before, try to arrange some rehearsal time with the prompter before the shoot. That way the talent and operator will have the time to get in sync. They can experiment with different font sizes and colors and format the text for their reading style that best suits them. Number eight, choose the right prompter size. If you're gonna stand close to the prompter, ask the operator to either bring an appropriate size prompter or to adjust the screen size smaller so that the eyes of your talent are not gonna be seen moving back and forth as in a tennis game. Number nine, relax. Remember, the prompter will make life easier, not harder. It takes all of the burden of memorization off your talent so they can concentrate on communicating your copy in the most effective way possible. Number 10, in summary, encourage your talent to be confident and take time to breathe. If they ad lib or go off script, the prompter will be there when they come back. If they stop, they'll wait. And have fun. And remember that this is so much easier than trying to remember a whole script. Think of all the time you're saving and enjoy it. Oh, and a final tip. You may want to email a link to this video to your talent in advance so they're familiar with the tips and you don't need to waste valuable time on set going over it. Visit us at teleprompterrental.com or call 212-219-1075. This is Laura Williams from Tech Update.